This is Suzanne for Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the feather bracelet. This is an advanced level design. To make this bracelet you will need 30A colored bands, 12B colored bands, 24C colored bands, 24D colored bands, and a C-clip. It's a good idea to have your supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Convert your loom to the rectangle configuration. All of the pins should be in straight rows. Place your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. First, place 14 A colored bands along the left side of the loom. You'll start with an A colored band from the middle pin out to the left. Place that band. Then, along the left side of the loom, you'll place the bands one over the other in a single chain. We'll fast forward from here until we reach the end of the loom. You place your bands all the way to the end and then place the last one from the last pin into the center. Then we return to the beginning of the loom. You'll start from the center pin and place your band going out to the right. Again, you place the bands one over the other, going up the right side of the loom in a single chain. We'll fast forward from here until we reach the end of the loom. Again, you place all the way to the end and place the last band to the center pin. Now return to the beginning of the loom. You'll start from the center pin and place band 1B. Push that down. Then 2C. and then 3C. We repeat that pattern again, 1B, 2C, 3C. We'll fast forward from here. Refer to the diagram on your screen until you reach the end of the loom. And there we've reached the end of the loom. Now is a good time to push all the bands down on your loom because we have another row of bands to place above this one. So just kind of push these down as you work your way back down to the beginning of the loom. And now you're ready for the next step. We'll place a series of two D colored bands on the loom. We'll start from the middle pin and place one D and two D. Then we move up to the next pin and we place those bands again in the V shape. Go to the next pin and again we use the D colored band And 
form that V shape. I'll fast forward from here until we reach the end of the loom. And there we finish placing our D bands on the loom. On this last pin, we'll need to place an A colored cap band. Grab your A band, twist it into a figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it on this last pin. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. And then at the beginning of the loom, on the first row, we'll loop a pattern of nine bands. Refer to the diagram on your screen as we loop this first pattern of nine bands. We'll start from the center pin and we'll loop band 1A. We pull all the bands above 1A back then you get that band on your hook. It should be the top A colored band down in there and pull that out to the left. 2A will be pulled to the right. You pull all the bands above that back and pull it out to the right. 3C you reach in and it should be the top C colored band and pull it out to the left. And then 4C, we'll pull to the right. 5B, we'll loop forward. 6D, we'll loop to the center. Seventy from the right to the center. Eight A. And then nine A. There we finish that first pattern. Refer to the new diagram on your screen to loop a pattern of seven bands. You'll follow this pattern until you reach the end of the loom. You'll start from this, this center pin. You'll be looping band 1C. You reach in, get the top C band on your hook and pull it to the left. You can tell you've grabbed and pulled the right band by that teardrop shape. Now 2C. gets pulled to the right. 3B is pulled forward. 4D and 5D. Six A and then seven A. I'll repeat this pattern again. We'll start and pull one C. Two C. Three B four D five C. 
5D. Six A seven A. I'll fast forward from here. Pause the video and refer to the diagram on your screen as you loop the pattern of bands. On the last row, you'll loop the last two bands on the loom to the center pin. And that completes looping the, the pattern of seven bands. These last two bands on the loom, we will loop to the center pin. Now that we've finished looping the bands, we're ready to finish the bracelet. You pull all these bands to the top of that last pin. There's quite a few on this one. You place your hook down through the center channel of that pin and tilt it out to the side, making sure all bands are around the hook. Place an A colored band on the end of your hook. Pull back, pull the hook back as you pull it up through there and get both bands up on your hook. Then slide those up to the thickest part of your hook. Now with your fingers, you'll lift these bands up off the lip of the pins, and then start pulling your bands from the loom. If made on one loom, this bracelet will need to be extended to fit a wrist comfortably. To extend the bracelet, you must first decide how many bands you'll need to make your extension with. For smaller wrists, three or four bands usually work. For larger wrists, six or more may be needed. For this bracelet, because it is so thick, I recommend using two bands on each extension. So let me show you how we'll do this. Instead of just placing one band, we'll place two. And then two on the next one. and keep placing two bands up the side of the loom. And then once you finish placing your bands You'll place the cap band from your bracelet on this last pin. So you find the cap band and you stretch that from the last pin to the one directly behind it. Then you loop your bands two at a time. 
point up this side of the loom. And then on the last pin, you'll stretch that to the center. Now these, there are extra bands here. So move those higher up on your hook so you don't put any pressure on that. And extend that out to this middle pin. Make sure all those bands are placed around that middle pin. And this creates an area where you can attach your C-clip. Grab your C-clip so that the open side is facing forward. And you'll want to make sure you snap that around all of the bands. Once you've secured that, you can pull your extension from the loom. Then on the other end of your bracelet, pull your hook away, slide your two fingers into that band, and this is where you can secure the other end of your C-clip. You put that on. And there we have your finished feather bracelet.